This is Twit. Did you catch this? Um, Fudzilla did the article. Um, yeah, the, we talked about it on the podcast last night. Okay. Um, they're, they're claiming Intel 10 animator is better than everybody thinks, implying, in other words, that Intel is like holding back on, uh, you know, that they could make 10 nanometer uh, CPUs, but they're just deciding not to ship them yet. Um, and they also, there's a, actually, you're just scrolling past it right now, there's a, this claim in there, the 300, uh, 300 millimeter wafer can cost between 200 and $700. Josh lost it last night on the podcast when that even came up as like what the claim was, because that's not, that cannot possibly be accurate. Because if they were able to make any CPUs with the wafer cost that low, uh, I guarantee you they'd be shipping it because right. um, that's extremely cheap for a production of a wafer on any modern process. Um, realize it's a wafer full of parts. Like there's, you know, potentially depending on the size, obviously, but it could be a thousand CPUs on that thing. Um, hmm. So if you're able to make them that cheap for the whole wafer, that would be insane margin. You 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 know. So, of course, they would be selling it for that. But uh, we had a post on PC Per kind of mirroring uh, this one, or at least talking about it. Um, I mean, what it really comes down to is just, it's, the, it's whatever the next process is, right? Like, it, it, if you take Intel's uh, take on um, flash memory in the past, there's plenty of time when 25 nanometer flash came out, uh, they talked about it, even, like, showed it to me in a fab. Hey, here's a wafer. Like, we, we're making this now. Uh, but we didn't see it in, in actual SSDs that you could buy for, like, mm -hmm. it was something close to a year. Um, so, sure, they're making it, but just because you're making it doesn't mean you're, you're able to produce it efficiently and with good yield. Um, so, I mean, while, while, like, Josh and, you know, the other people on, on our site, uh, as an example, like, we're confident that, like, you know, sure, Intel can do it, but they can't do it cheap right away um right you know but maybe maybe that 200 to 700 hour cost is just like the raw cost of like some part of the process but you're not talking about recouping all the r d recouping all the costs of all the equipment that you needed to upgrade to mm -hmm. be able to you know produce the feature size on of those parts that are it's 10 nanometer features um yeah so it's just yeah i don't know I mean, a lot of it's just kind of like, hey, look, this is common sense. Yes, they can make the next thing in the lab right now. No, they're probably not shipping it. But the why is really just it's more cost effective to sell the stuff that they can make, you know, with better yields right now, which is not 10 nanometer. Um, <laughs> I do kind of like that the the uh, smaller and smaller feature size uh have more of a copper sheen to them compared yeah. to uh, compared to other, and that that's actually because you have to start moving over to using copper because you just need better connect like conductivity than mm -hmm. than just straight silicon can give you. <laughs> uh, like when you're trying to get it from one side of the chip to the other, like you you actually have to use like a better conductor um, because the you know when 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 traces on a die are so narrow <laughs> that you know you risk electron you risk like atoms shifting slightly and causing problems right, right. so <laughs> i mean 10 nanometer like th this is something as as far as feature size goes right they, they were trying to talk about flash memory getting down to 10 nanometer for the size of the cells this is before all of the 3d nan stuff started becoming a thing and uh there was one picture during a, a I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, I've used it in a couple of my uh, pieces on the on the site, but it's hard to dig up right now. But like they showed a like an electron microscope part of like here's a here's a channel, here's like a conductor um, or just some feature, and here's ten nanometers, and they showed it, and it was literally <laughs> you could count you could count the number of atoms across. It was only like a couple of dozen or something. So like. You know, it's tiny. <laughs> it's really dang small. Trying to get that, you know, trying to get that that small on process tech, which kind of which kind of leads me to think that maybe the next step for all this CPU stuff is probably to do what the flash memory is doing, and try right. to figure out better ways to to stack layers of circuitry 
within the dot. They already kind of do it, like all the interconnect stuff has its own layer, and like then you have like a layer of the transistors doing doing the work. But they might have to start stacking layers of transistors on CPUs to be able to, you know, to effectively make the shrink better, uh, or just get more transistors within a certain square area. You can kind of have to go vertical at some point. Otherwise, nobody would be using buildings on the planet, right? Multi-story <laughs> buildings. So starting to sound complicated, man. 